And finally, Dr. Joe Isaac runs a company that also had to take massive changes in a short period of time to respond this year, of course, to COVID-19. And he joins us now to tell us his story. Joe, welcome. How are you today? Good to have you on the program. Thank you so much, Adrian. Good afternoon and thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for your patience. Uh, we'll wrap up the show now. I'm really looking forward to this chat. Let's talk firstly about some of the changes that you planned for 2021 that perhaps you, you actually never anticipated, you know, given this year. Absolutely. It was a very good warming up question because 2020 has been a very, very difficult year. And I think this is the case for a lot of people. And due to the uncertainty, we're not really sure what's happening. Initially, we fell into the mistake that, OK, let's just get by. It's not going to be long. Now we actually realize that 2021 and the world is not going to be the same as it was before. We were going online to do courses online for virtual and connected delivery, but we didn't expect to have that at least extending to 21 and moving forward on the rise. So now we've got 50 percent of our programs will be delivered online. If you told me this five years ago, I'll be like, I don't think you're real here. We do it face to face. We need the interaction, that human thing. But this is the case. The second thing is the partnering with a lot of marketing agencies to help us penetrate and enter new markets that we haven't been there before. So we've got six offices overseas, but we operate in many countries. We often operate out of five star hotels. And that's when we run the programs because we don't want to have offices everywhere. When the program comes, we get the hotel, organized catering and so on. And one of the third amazing things that I never really anticipated that we had to update our induction and onboarding to an extended long period of time to have COVID policies and procedures is specific for COVID, even for onboarding and induction. Employee assistance program, now COVID is part of it because those people who are stuck in certain places, they are locked out like you guys. Melbourne have faced, I guess, more difficulty and more challenges than, than Sydney. Yeah, interesting. And let's talk about skill sets that you think might be in demand uh, in 2021. I think a lot of people are asking that question now that people have lost their jobs. We're now going, what does the future look like? What, what are you seeing here? The future is going to look amazing. It's going to help us to extend our expertise, our personality to another level that perhaps we didn't anticipate before. And it is a very common question. Even TAFE New South Wales has been provided by a lot of funds to help rebuild and reshape the future. As for us, we had a lot of programs really jumping on the rise. So one of these programs, I think it's called uh, Presenter and Coach Public and Public Speaker. So before we were teaching people how to present, after a lot of people jumped into the connected delivery and doing things online, it became a demand that we had to update the course and include how to engage while you're presenting online because actually you're not in the physical space of that person anymore. And it became so pressuring that we had to invent in the next year a specific course for that type of delivery, how to engage, how to connect with the camera. So you see when I'm talking to the camera, I feel like it's part of me, even though I'm not with you, but it's somehow I feel that we are kind of together. And this is the feeling that a lot of people are struggling to get. Mind you, in 2020, we had the struggle how to connect to so technology stuff. Okay, how do I go online? How do I, how do I do this? And we passed that stage into another level in 2021. Okay, how do I engage? The last one was corporate strategist. These are the four top programs that cater for those skills, which is how to engage, how to operate in areas of uncertainty, how to apply critical thinking, and how to redevise any process that you have so quickly, dynamically, to actually cope with whatever you are facing in times like this. Well said. And before we find out uh, how we can reach out to you for more, how are you preparing your teams for next year and beyond? Oh, uh, that's a challenging question, that one. <laughs> I guess I got to be uh, very careful with what I'm saying so I don't uh, get in trouble with privacy. But look, on, on a general note, uh, I believe that we've made a lot of changes in the professional development plans for all the team members on all team members levels from junior to senior management. I believe we have done very interesting things through market research. We've conducted a lot of market research, but we did it in a very innovative way through dynamic platforms, predominantly through TikTok and through Instagram. And we'll be introducing mandatory training that will help all team members at all different levels, including cybersecurity and another program that has been created just for that purpose with a lot of the scams that has happened in 2020, social engineering. So a lot of people may not be familiar with the term, what is social engineering, but let's call it, it's the new terrorism of, you know, uh, manipulating the people mentally to extract some information. So cybersecurity can be listed under social engineering, but it's actually way, way deeper than that. I think if I expand any further, I will, uh, you yeah. know, get in trouble by talking about our Nuvis virtual assistant robot that we're working on. But I think I should just keep my mouth shut now, otherwise I get in trouble. <laughs> That's fair. And I'll get in trouble from the boss because we're already slightly over time. So we're both in trouble okay. in a little bit. Uh, just briefly, where can we jump online to reach out? Look, you can uh, obviously if people want to reach out to me, they can search my name, Dr. Joe Isaac in Google, I-S-A-A-K. -A -A 
uh, if they wanted to connect with the organization. So Australian Effect Training is our website, www.australianeffect.com.au. That's our website. And um, they can browse, see the programs and see how we can help. Great stuff. Really enjoyed all that information and the chat. We'll talk soon. Thank you so much, Adrian.